It's a job made up of small but satisfying moments. <laughs> With a little help, 24-year-old Ty Inglis comes to work three times a week at this supermarket north of Brisbane. But for others, it's a different story. Despite independence in many parts of her life, employment for 26-year-old Michaela Jones seems just out of reach. She has an intellectual disability and a vision impairment. They put me what I call the too hard basket, which means that I would like to have a job, but they can't find the right job for me. It's something those in the sector see frequently. I think a lot of people tend to think that it is one of those things where it's a hard thing to do in the workforce. They say with support workers funded by the NDIS, there should be no barriers in their way. But thinking hasn't caught up. The most recent data shows that 26% of people with intellectual disabilities are employed, a figure that's actually dropped from 41% in 2013. Academics and advocates say the way we value people with disabilities in the labour force needs to change. They demonstrate a keenness, a commitment and are usually reliable. They demonstrate low levels of absenteeism. Traditionally, many have been employed in businesses called Australian Disability Enterprises. Under a supported wage system, pay is adjusted on productivity levels. But the system faces criticism. And they've certainly failed to do what they set out to do in terms of moving people into open employment. Only about 1% of people employed in ADEs end up in open employment. Most say change is in the hands of individual employers. The issue is giving them the opportunity to get out there and do the things that they want to do, give them a chance to try. That's what I wish to have a life like everyone else, even though I've got a disability, I don't think of it as a disability. Positive steps with every shift. Baz Ruddick, ABC News.